This is the eighth video for the ethics and legal considerations portion of the animal chiropractic class. In this class, we're going to talk about advertising. Now, I'm going to warn you that advertising rules, just like the licensing rules, probably even more so than the licensing rules, vary quite a bit from state to state. Generally, every state starts with a very basic proposition that advertising should be truthful and should not be false, misleading, or deceptive. And what happens after that is the state boards or the regulatory authorities observe people advertising in certain ways that they don't think is truthful. And they will adopt rules that are very specifically targeted at the practice that they didn't like. So as a result of that, the advertising rules are not very consistent from state to state because different states have had, had different experiences about inappropriate conduct or conduct that they think is inappropriate and how they regulate those. So again, wherever you practice, be certain that you understand the advertising rules. If you're a chiropractor providing animal chiropractic care, be sure you understand both the chiropractic rules and the veterinary practice rules for advertising and be sure you comply with both of those. Also keep in mind that the idea of advertising is much broader than it used to be. I mean certainly there was a time that advertising was primarily uh, yellow book radio and TV or yellow pages radio and TV. Uh, but in today's world that I think things like Facebook pages, web pages, uh, uh, email campaigns, uh, direct mail, all kinds of things could be considered advertising and would be subject to regulation as advertising. So let's start with a very basic question. If you offer to treat animals with animal chiropractic, are you practicing veterinary medicine? Now, I think the answer, if you look at the Veterinary Practice Acts, is that that, by holding yourself out as being available to provide treatment for animals, is practicing veterinary medicine. And it doesn't make any difference that you focus in only on animal chiropractic. So is it misleading for a chiropractor to advertise that they provide animal chiropractic? Certainly, I think it could be done in a misleading manner. But I think it could also be done in a manner that's truthful and provides a, a, a meaningful disclosure to the public that's not misleading. Uh, I think it would be, now understand here, this is my thought, not the thought of your state board. Uh, my thought is that it should be appropriate for a chiropractor to advertise that they provide animal chiropractic care under the supervision of a veterinarian and only under the supervision of a veterinarian. Now, that would be an appropriate way for chiropractors to get the word out. Um, but as we sit here today, I think most state boards, most state boards of veterinary medical examiners would decide that that chiropractor is practicing veterinary medicine by holding themselves out to the public as being available to treat animals even though it may be under the supervision of a veterinarian. Now, just so you can understand my reasoning here, it, it's based on the First Amendment to the Constitution. And if you, uh, in case you haven't turned on a TV set in the last 25 years, uh, pharmaceutical companies are allowed to advertise prescription products. Now, it doesn't mean you can call up uh, Merck or GlaxoSmithKline and obtain the prescription drugs directly from them. Their advertising includes a statement, besides listing all the horrible effects it can have, they include a, a statement that you should discuss this with your doctor. Yeah, I think a, an animal chiropractor should be able to advertise in a similar way where they're encouraging the readers or, or the consumers to discuss animal chiropractic with their veterinarian and to seek a referral. But as we sit here today, I also think most state boards are not going to allow that. So here's an example of, of the definition of uh, the practice of veterinary medicine. Uh, this comes out of Pennsylvania. 
practice of veterinary medicine includes representing yourself out uh, as being engaged in the practice of veterinary medicine. Uh, but if you offer or hold yourself out as being able to diagnose, treat, etc., for any animal disease, pain, injury, deformity, or physical condition, then that constitutes practicing veterinary medicine. Now, the problem here as a, as a chiropractor is how do you get the word out and build your practice? And unfortunately, as we sit here today, I have to tell you the best answer is going to be to work with a veterinarian. Uh, you may be able to work with a veterinarian who will give you, uh, um, uh, who will work with you on advertising so that the advertising is under the veterinarian's name but the veterinarian may send animal chiropractic cases to a particular uh, a chiropractor. Um, if a, an animal chiropractor chooses to use a web page, uh, they should use it in connection with a veterinary website uh, so that it is clear that the animal chiropractor is working only under the supervision of those vet veterinarians uh, and it cannot include anything false or misleading. So as a result, it means building an animal chiropractic practice can be slow. Uh, it's going to take time to identify veterinarians who are willing to work with a chiropractor. Uh, once those veterinarians are identified, it's going to take time for them to understand the professionalism and expertise of the animal chiropractor so that they're willing to trust and refer and supervise the animal chiropractor uh, without fear. So it's you know, short answer is it's not going to be a, a quick, easy job to build an animal chiropractic practice. But if you find the right veterinarians who have a, a practice with some volume, uh, they will be able to refer a number of animals to you and, and through in, in that way, help you build your practice relatively quickly. Uh, so again, remember with advertising, the rules vary quite a bit from state to state. Um, don't take anything I've said as being advice about what's allowed or not allowed. Make sure you understand what's allowed in your particular state uh, before you make the decision about what to advertise or how to advertise.